Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.7.15, an Eagle Dynamics F16C Viper module. Welcome to bonus video number 2, DTOS, or Dive Toss Mode. Uh, this is a, a mode kind of in between constantly computed impact point and constantly computed release point. It's designed for quickly visually acquire, acquiring targets and then dropping munitions on them. Uh, and it provides symbology quite similar to CCRP uh, for those types of delivery. Uh, today I've got the aircraft set up with four Mark 84 bombs and we're going to have a, a, a try at dropping these using DTOS mode. Um, now, uh, DTOS or dive toss, whatever you want to call it, uh, you can designate your target visually using the HUD, and it's also possible to designate visually using the helmet mounted queuing system. Today, I'm going to demonstrate both. It will do the HUD first. So, let's jump into the cockpit. Uh, I'm just going to put the aircraft into active pause so we can go ahead and set things up for this. So, the very first thing you need to do, I've already got the master arm on in this case, is go air to ground master mode. Uh, and by default, that's going to put you into CCIP if you're using bombs. Um, one qu quick thing to note, uh, DTOS actually works with both unguided and guided bombs. Um, so you can use it for whatever takes your fancy. Um, you can cycle your employment mode here by pressing the button above CCIP. We've got uh, CCIP, CCRP, DTOS, LAD and MAN. Uh, so you could simply choose DTOS. Alternatively, uh, you can press nose wheel steering and it allows you to step through each of the different modes that you have available to you in air to ground mode. Uh, we're going to put it into deep boss mode just now and I'm going to select pairs of Mark 84s so that I don't have the aircraft too unbalanced. Uh, and then on the left hand side here I'm actually going to go ahead and set up the targeting pod uh, but not have it as soy. Uh, so then we have the opportunity to uh, sort of take a closer look at what we've actually designated target there. So, uh, when we're using the HUD, uh, you'll notice that by default, once we've put it into DTOS mode, um, we immediately have the asterisk in the HUD, meaning the HUD is now the sensor of interest, and you'll see that we also have the target designator uh, box over the flight path marker. So by default, it's going to be hooked onto the flight path marker. We can fly to place uh, the TD over our target and then press TMS up, or we can use the cursor slew switch and we can actually just start slewing that around uh, and then again TMS forward will uh, create a target point and we'll immediately get the azimuth steering line uh, and we'll also get our release cue here as well. Um, now the reason it's called dive toss is because you're usually going to employ this because it's visually you need to be visual sorry you need to be quite close to your target so you're normally going to be at altitude you're going to dive towards your target choose the target and then you're going to level out uh, and, and make the, the delivery. It's also possible to toss bomb uh, using this mode but I won't be covering that today because I've been unable to find enough information and documentation on how exactly that works. Uh, and if we go TMS aft that uh, puts the target designator back on the flight path marker. Okay, let's give this a go. Now, the, the, everything happens quite quickly uh, and it's, it's actually a little bit difficult to be accurate with this mode it's probably best employed against static targets uh, and if at all possible large targets at that. So out of active pause I'm going to dive towards my target area. Oh, I'm going to throttle up a little bit. So um, I'm going to put my marker about here um, TMS forward and you can see there that it's pretty much on. I'm going to refine it just a little bit and we're then going to dive down towards our target. We're actually slightly further away than we would be normally. I'm going to pause here and give you some of the information, uh, sorry, go over some of the information you see in the HUD. Um, here we have the time to release. It's currently at 56 seconds. We also have the uh, bearing and distance to the target. So it's at 085 degrees and it's 11 miles away. I've actually done this a little bit further away than perhaps I should have or would normally have. But in any case, uh, once you've selected your target, you would normally be much closer than this, but you would then, if at all possible, get the flight path marker back on the horizon line and fly to put the ASL directly through the flight path marker. I've accelerated now, so you can see time to release is coming down. 10 seconds. 
I'm going to push and hold the pickle. You'll see that the release queue is coming down. And any moment now. Release. Okay, I've let go of the pickle now, and the bombs are away. And let's watch them come down. Let's see how accurate we've managed to get this. Because, uh, like I said, this is not... Well, as with CCRP, this is going to be a less accurate drop than you would get in a, in a dive attack with CCIP. Let's see, let's see. It's certainly approaching the target. It looks about right. It's probably not going to be spot on, but let's see what we get. Yeah, poor hit. Um, that was a little bit short, but otherwise not terrible. So let's uh, try the same thing again, but this time with the helmet mounted queuing system. I'm going to turn on my symbology and then bring my head around. Uh, and we're going to start making a turn so that I can start to see the target that I want to attack. It's now marked with smoke, so that's actually going to make my job a little bit easier here. There we go. So I can now see the target. So um, we're going to press TMS up long. Try that. Do I have to go aft first? Oh, there we go. Okay, right. So normally the box wouldn't be on the uh, Jehikmets. Uh, it would normally be on the flight path marker. As I move my head around, you'll see I've just got the aiming cross. I now need to press target management switch up long. And now the box is on the Jehikmus. Uh, I'm going to fly towards the target area so I can see better what I'm doing. I'm going to fly slightly off to the side just to make it easier for me to visually acquire the target. Okay, there we go. And we're going to look over the side here. Now we're going to dive towards the target so I can get a bit of a view on it. Target management switch forward. There. That's actually good enough for me. And we're going to come back center and use the symbology. So let's get on the steering line. And let's dive towards the target a little bit. There we go. We're on the ASL. I'm going to hold the pickle and start bringing it up. Bombs are away. It actually came off before I even reached the horizon line. That's because I was lower and closer to the target this time. But that's a perfectly acceptable delivery. Let's see what it does. Boom! Ineffective hit. <laughs> it was right on the edge of the bomb circle. So, um, not terrible. Uh, you know, I, I hit in the area that I was aiming for. Uh, now, of course, you could combine this with JDAMs, uh, because JDAMs in visual mode fully support DTOS uh, attacks, uh, and then you're guaranteed a hit no matter what you do, which is nice. Um, so, yes, there you go. That is the employment of DTOS. Now, of course, if you're a slightly better pilot than me, uh, you would probably fly the ASL and the parameters a little bit better and more accurately than I did. This is still a manual release mode without uh, precision-guided munitions, so it's not going to be spot on, as I kind of demonstrated there. So, that's a, a demonstration of DTOS mode, uh, both designation through the HUD and through the helmet-mounted queuing system. I hope that you all enjoyed that. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you all next time.